Meet Jane. Like you, she's an accounting student. And like you, Jane struggles with the accounting cycle. Adjusting entries, posting, journalizing, closing entries, it's all so confusing. Today, Jane's confusion will fade away. We will put all the pieces together and complete the accounting cycle. When we last met, we learned how to journalize closing entries. Today, Jane will learn how to post those closing entries and then prepare a post-closing trial balance using only the permanent accounts. We've already learned how to post, so today should be a refresher. Do you remember when you learned to post your transactions or when you learned to post your adjusting entries? You already know what to do. Let's review posting. We'll need our general ledgers to help us with posting. Let's review posting with the first closing entry in detail. The closing entry involves a debit to revenue for $57,300 and a credit to retained earnings for the same amount. To post the revenue line, we'll need the revenue ledger. If it's a debit in the journal, it's a debit in the ledger. You see the revenue ledger and the $57,300 posted as a debit. Don't forget to put in your posting references. In the ledger, we reference the page number the journal entry can be found on, which is GJ1, stands for General Journal Page 1. In the journal, we put the account number of the ledger account, Revenue, Account 110, for our posting reference. The Retained Earnings account was a credit in the journal, so we will get the Retained Earnings ledger and post a credit of 57300 Again, the posting reference is General Journal page 1, and in the journal, our account number for retained earnings is account 315. Now, the journal entry has been posted. Here is a complete listing of all the closing entries with their posting references. And here you can see all of the ledgers with the closing entries posted along with their posting references. Please note, the revenue, expenses, and dividends account all have a zero balance. The retained earnings balance is up to date at $30,690. This balance matches the total we had on our statement of stockholders equity and our balance sheet. Let's review our cycle. So we've completed posting closing entries to the ledgers. We've calculated our new ledger balances, and now we're ready to make a post-closing trial balance with our permanent accounts. Great news, everybody. Jane has just made a post-closing trial balance. So Jane has made the post-closing trial balance with her permanent accounts, assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. Remember, revenue, expenses, and dividends have all been zeroed out. When we make a post-closing trial balance, be sure to check and make sure your debit dollars equal your credit dollars. In this example, they do. Way to go, Jane! Look how happy Jane is. She completed the accounting cycle. Jane is so confident in her abilities now, she would like to review the accounting cycle with you all. Number one, analyze the transactions. Two, record in the journal. Three, post to the ledgers. Four, make a trial balance. Five, determine needed adjustments. Six, journalize and post adjustments. Seven, make an adjusted trial balance. Eight, prepare financial statements. Nine, journalize and post closing entries. And 10, prepare a post-closing trial balance.